Good morning, everyone. This is Rita here, and um, I was hoping to get back yesterday and work on a video for you, but too many things were going on, so I didn't get to. Today is um, Wednesday, the 19th, and uh, 19th of August, and I'm going to make a pocket uh, for the, the journal cover, but um, I just wanted to show you this journal cover again. Um, I didn't like the way that it left that white film on top so what I did was I just cut out a new piece of fabric and laid right over the top of that and it, I think it looks nicer now so this part here is is pretty good um, it I did some um, inking around the edges and stuff um, and of course that is so another line because I had to put the next piece of fabric on but it worked out okay so um, I think it'll be nice. I think once I get finished, yeah, I'll like it better. So I'm just kind of still debating on whether or not I like the color and the texture. It didn't really crinkle as much as I wanted it to. But anyway, you know, we're here now and um, it, it, it all comes together eventually. Okay, so this particular pocket here, I tried to make one yesterday and I wanted it to flip over like this and then to make this a pocket. However, when I did that, I glued this down um, and I knew that it wasn't supposed to be glued down so that I could use it to slip something in there. So that's not working. So I'm gonna try it again today uh, along with you and see um, what I can come up with. So what I need to do is make it uh, I think I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. I was going to make it shorter. But I'm going to uh, cut this section off. Uh, let me get my ruler here. I'm going to cut this section off right below the uh, emblem up here that says New York. Let me put this um, here so that, that I know it's straight. So if I use this line here on my mat board... And then this is, let's go like right here. That's pretty straight there. Okay. And then I'll just draw a line across that and cut that. So I hope everybody's good today. Um, it's been really hot here, which is always typical this time of year okay so now we've got that and we've got this so I want that to lay on top of that like and so what I want to do is first of all I want to round the corners here okay and I think I'll round the corners down here too this pocket is for the inside of the book where I usually put a message oh and I double-sided this I, I uh, copy two. I actually made two um, and double sided it so that I would have this on the back. Okay, so now in order to leave this open, I'm going to measure here. And I don't know if this is the exact way to do it, but it's the closest I could come to doing it the way I think it should be done. Because I'm sure I could make a whole pocket, but I can't get that flap. And I don't have enough room to get, if I could make a coin envelope where I wrap it around the back, um, I could do it, but I don't have enough uh, image space to wrap it, if you know what I mean. If it was a solid piece of cardstock, I jiggle the table. Okay, so that's inked up there, and I'm gonna ink up this. This is the will be the inside of the flap. And see, I had to get the image to be going up the right direction, so like that. Okay, so now we've got that like that. And I didn't cut that exactly. I tell you, I cannot get a straight line. 
Let me just trim this uh, fraction. I'm not sure that took anything off. My little cutter is getting full of. Trying to line it up with this line here. Okay. Cutter is not cutting good. That's because things get stuck inside of here. Just in case you ever had that happen. So we're going to make it a little bit shorter. I wish I had one of those um, other things, those, it's still a little jaggedy. Oh well. What do you call them? Guillotine kind of things. I don't know if this is gonna show, but I'm gonna ink it anyway, because I never know what's gonna actually show. Okay. So we've got that to go there. So now I'm going to take this piece of paper Okay. Oh, that doesn't work. All right, hold on. This has to be attached. To a piece of paper that's going down. Okay, hold on, people. <laughs> Not doing this right. Okay, that has to go down here. So this has to be attached. Hmm. Seriously, how did I do this? Okay, I just took a piece of cardstock. I know what the problem is. Um, okay. I need to glue a piece to this side. So I'm going to take, because when I turn it down, so I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to go in the right shape. I guess if this doesn't work out, I won't be putting this video up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get myself enough room here to... And, you know, you can always print again and start over. And I printed this on cardstock.
Okay, so that is going to go down. This is going this way. So I'm just going to glue this right to there so I can set it in behind here. Okay. Wrong piece. This goes here. Okay. So I don't know if that's how you would have done it. Or another um, journal maker would have done it. And did I need to make a pocket on this? Probably didn't have to make a flap, but I thought I'd like that look. Okay, turn this a little here. So now this is going to get glued just to these two sides here and here. Okay, so that that pocket is also open. That was my goal, was to have this pocket open. But when I laid this down behind it, when I was working on it yesterday afternoon, I glued it down. Okay, so let me get this. So it looks pretty from there, and then that's that. Now, I want to put the little circle things on here, I think. I hope that looks straight. Okay, so here's the opening. Whoops, let it dry first. Okay, well, I'm letting that dry. Letting that dry, let me find um, something to make the circles with. So I probably want to just use um, a cardstock that's hmm, I think I want to just use something a brownish. That's not the right. The way it goes when you need um, okay, so let me get I'm sorry. I thought I had a piece of heavy cardstock that I saved that was um, coffee dyed. Hmm. It's not really coffee dyed enough. All right, let's look and see how this looks. Let me. Do a circle out of here. I don't like it. 
because I don't want to hide that either. So I will figure out a different way to secure this down. Oh, I know what I can do. I can put something like this, but they won't be able to pick it up. So we'll see. Um, it's not what I had anticipated, but I might find uh, something later to, to work that out. Okay, so let's just get this down into the journal. Let's see if this is okay. There we go. And put the pocket right here. And I'm going to use um, fabric tack. Okay, so now I have to remember that I want to leave this open and this open. So I'm just going to fabric tack around the three sides in a U shape. See, when this was open, I said, oh, I forgot to glue that. I glued it down, and that's when I, when all the trouble started. All right, so we're just going to go this way. This way. Glue it down there. I really just need something that has a little weight on it um, to stick there. I might have um, I was thinking I might have um, Something heavy. Okay, so maybe I can just glue that. So you can't get it out. <laughs> can't. Okay, well, those aren't heavy, they're plastic. That's not heavy, but I like that. It's cute on there. Oh, here's another clock. These I might tie on to the end of charms. Okay, I have to remember I have those. I think I'll set those over there so that I can remember to put those on his. Oh, that's a clock button. All right. I don't want to take up so much time looking for stuff like that. Okay, so right now we're just going to leave it as it is. And then I'll find uh, things to put in there. Uh, journal cards or whatever we want to put. And then I usually put a note from uh, the journal maker, which I may put back here, and then I'll also like put a card in here that tells um, who made it and that sort of thing. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that, and um, I will figure out what to do for a tie. I'm thinking I wanna put um, the two things on each side, so that will be something I need to find that is the correct color. I mean, even a black would probably look nice. So, let me put that to the side here and scrap. 
little scrap circle. Okay. That wasn't so hard after I kind of got it figured out. But sometimes your brain doesn't work the way you want it to. Okay, so um, now I need to see what we need to, if we need to make some of that. Okay, I want to put something on this. So I saw this on um, the other day. Well, let's see if that's going to. Yeah, that'll look okay. Um, on, uh, her name is uh, Jolie. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I'll see if I can find it and link it to, to you. But it's, um, it, she does these like uh, trifle type pocket things. And um, it's basically you take a uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You can take any size you want, but, um, cause you can make them out of um, book pages and you know, sometimes you get those really big uh, book pages. Let me see here. Like this is um, a large book page. And um, let's see here. Maybe we can do one out of this page. Um, so you get these large um, glossy bo books that you want to use for a picture or something like that. But you can make them out of that too. Okay, so first of all, you take and you fold your paper in half, and then you fold it in half this way, in, in quarters. And then you take the top part here in your uh, upper left or your upper right. Depends on how you want your um, little pocket to go. I did a little sample here. So this one, um, I'm not sure which one I fold it down first because it's a little complicated in a way. But anyway, once you uh, know which way it's going, uh, you'll you'll be able to figure it out. So you fold it in, but you don't fold it so close that it is in the crease, but just out of the crease. And you want it to be a 90 degree angle on the first corner. Then directly across from that corner, diagonally across from that, um, you fold up a smaller uh, portion here and then you flip it over like this and you do one medium size here on the on the other side okay so then after you do that you cut right here between these two I just put a C there so I could remember where to cut it Okay, and so then put that. Now the folding part. So I believe you fold. Oh, uh, then you've got to fold this side back. So one goes this way and one goes that way. And then you fold them both up. Nope, that's not it. These go up first. Okay. All right, so let's do that again. So after you cut this, this one goes in this way. This one goes underneath. This one stays this way. This one goes underneath. Then you lift this one up. And it should pretty much line up and if it doesn't it looks like you can just kind of do a little maneuvering here I mean I've only made one of these as a sample okay there we go so I can see now that the paper is um, you know a different color because your backside is showing here all right then I'm gonna do a little corner punch here on that and I'm going to ink up all around here and I'm going to ink in here and in 
here. Okay. So then I'm going to sew from here across and up here to give it a little bit of character. Let me check and see if I'm in frame. And I hope I am. I thought I was in frame the other day, but I was out just a tad. So I hope that you can see that and it's not too hard to... Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna, this part here is gonna be glued down to the back of the page, so uh, I guess I could, now I, I really can't. I'm just gonna sew it from this edge right here. Okay, put it on a zigzag. Because we all love our zigzag. Or you can do straight, that's fine too. to have a sew machine right next to me and you know you really I've watched a lot of people sewing on their videos and you really can't see them so so okay so that's that now you could have uh, put another contrasting fa uh, a piece of um, paper I can't get the word you know, before you close that up. Or the better thing to do would be have double-sided paper because that would work good. Or maybe if I folded it different, it would, there would be more showing. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to just set this in here on this page. And then we'll have, I'm just going to pull out a, a journal card thing or not journal card but a, t a tag and I'll just show you how they sit inside so you have one two three pockets and I love that I think that is so cute I will um, put her link at the bottom so let me glue this I think I'm gonna glue stick it and then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, what do you call it, um, glitter glue, because where the fabric is, it may not stick real well. But I want the middle to stick. So let's get a little of this around. And yes, I need to do the whole back, because the, the paper on this is not Sturdy like cardstock. If you make it out of cardstock, you could actually probably put a pocket. You could leave that open. I can't see up close. I can't see too far away. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of issues with my back. I have, I guess, arthritis. Um in my back and it's just been really really painful lately so trying to get an appointment to the spine and pain center that my insurance covers and they weren't taking any new patients because of the virus uh, they closed for a while and now they're open but they're taking back their old patients and they're giving them first you know, the opportunity to come back before they take on anybody new. So it just so happened that 
they opened an office in my town, which was about 20, 20, 25 miles from where the other office was. And uh, they're opening it up in September, and so I get an appointment for September 8th or 9th or something like that. So pretty happy about that. By the time I go, it'll probably be over. The because I am taking some medication now uh, to help it. And it finally, after a couple weeks, it does feel like it's getting a little better. So, let me come back and decorate that. I'm not sure what to put here. Um, let's see. Could just get a little label that looks kind of oh, vintagey or seaworthy. Yeah. I've got this little cluster that could go there. I kind of like that. Kind of. Kind of looks very rustic. Let's do it this way so the words are up. Okay. I think that'll look fine. And, and you know, by the time I get my tags in, you know, there's a little owl in there somehow, poking up through. Hmm. I'm just going to cut him out just for fun. Let's see. I just love these little owls. This is from the Digital Collage Club. And it's a subscription for a year. Well, there's a lot of stuff on there. But, you know, not to go get one owl. You don't want to pay 40 some dollars to get the subscription. Mm -hmm. I kind of like him there. I don't like that it covers up all the newsprint, but... Hmm. Well, yeah, there's a newsprint there. I'm just going to stick him on there. I don't know that that looks okay or not. But sometimes I just... print to show. Okay, and then I'll fabric tack this. I'm just trying to use up some of this stuff that I've made in the past as I am just running out of... In fact, today I'm going to Hobby Lobby. I have to take my mom do a little shopping. So, I'm going to go out to Hobby Lobby and get some more of those little plastic divider things and start putting this stuff where it needs to go okay I don't know if that looks okay or not but you know I can actually rip it off if I don't like it later and I don't have any tags made yet that um... well here's an owl tag Butterfly. Do those look too too big? I have this one empty spot. Hmm. I kind of like the whole contrast. I think something. Let's see.
Okay, I probably should um, see our pages are I can once I go in there the pages will be taller so it can stick out. Okay, so I need something like dark there though. A darker tag. get hidden away. That is, I kind of like that that, I like that color there and it would be kind of nice not to just have another tag but this old postcard. This is an original postcard too. This is not a copy. Yeah, a copy. Now we've got this guy. But, again, he kind of just blends too much. Let me see. I've got um, more of this French postcard, I believe. <clears throat> oh, there's another collage thing another bit of collage that I was going to use. Hmm. Maybe She has quite the face. I don't know if somebody wanted to look at that. <laughs> well, I don't know. And then we've got this one, which is Jane Seymour, 1902. Not the right color brown. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna just sit this lady in here for now because I'm thinking I might come up with uh, either a navy blue like this color to stick in there to give contrast or red. Okay, so this one and this one, let me put backing on that. Um, Hold on, let me get my box of backing. <clears throat> These are scrap papers from um, cutoffs that are plain that I can use for the back of a, to write. And it gives it a little stability and I'm gonna stitch around this. Then I'll poke a hole. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the last one I posted was an hour and 30 minutes. <clears throat> an hour and 30 minutes is a long time. But I hope you're not bored with them. And you know, like I said, I'm not doing this for monetary reasons, just want to share my video, my uh, progress on each journal. I'm not about to, I guess, teach you how to make a whole bunch of pockets and things like that if it comes up that I need that pocket and I saw someone else make it or if I could come up with my own designs of sort then I will share those things, but I basically just want to sh 
you know, you to work with me when I'm working on my journals. And I wished I had more time in a day, and you would think I would, but I have my little boutique shop. Um, yesterday I made a couple books. I do, um, stack, they're stacked books. I don't have one in here to show you, but I take old uh, used books, not vintage books, but because I use them for my journal, but just um, oddball. Let's see if this piece is big enough. You know those books that are at the thrift stores for a dollar? I mean, unless you go to Goodwill, they think their books are uh, very expensive. They're like three dollars each and then I go to another thrift store and they're 99 cents but when I go on Wednesday they're half price depends on what how long they've been in the store they're half price because they go by codes color codes but Wednesday uh, is senior half price day And I have another thrift store that's 25% off on Wednesday, and they're very close to each other. But they're not really close to me. They're like 20-some miles away. So it's not like I can just run over there. It's like I have to plan. So I'll buy like 20 books at a time, and, and then I paint them, and then I put sayings on the sides. with my I cut them out with my Cricut. The scissors are not cutting thread anymore, so they're getting pretty, pretty dull. Um, cut out words with my Cricut, like yesterday. The one I made was um, uh, "Fall is my favorite time of the year," something like that. And then I'll write that, uh, and I do it in vinyl and put it on the side of the book after I paint it. And then I also do custom ones that have people's, um, oh, the date babies were born, you know, the date and the weight and all that. Or I will do um, people's name and maybe it's their 50th anniversary and put the date uh, from their established date. So let's say they have having their 50th and it was, two, so that would be like um, 1970 this year. So I would put like Mike and Jennifer established 1970, the actual date, like April 3rd, 1970. And those are popular. And they're good for wedding gifts, uh, the date that the people get married as a wedding gift to, you know, a lot of people don't really need um, that many gifts because they've been together for a while, you know, in the same, living in the same place or whatever. Okay, I need to punch this and again, I think I'll do an eyelet. I just really like making these little eyelets. Or maybe I'll make one with the eyelet and one with the ring. But if I make the ring one, I don't think this punch is big enough. Let's do this one with the ring. You know, the ring that... I don't know if I've showed you these before, so that's what we'll show you. Now these I just... Whoops, don't ink up there because that... They make cute little dots. <laughs> They're always fun to do a little a little dot uh, effect. Let me see. Let me get my other little brush here. These are those soft makeup brushes.
I can see this paper had a little bit of a line on the other side. Yeah, that's good. So, let's see, let me... So there we go, little polka dots. Oh, I forgot to put one. You need to put one on the front and the back because um, your string or whatever will tear through this paper. But that's an easy way to, if you don't have an eyelet thing, to make an eyelet. Um, you have to get some more eyelets to Because I prefer this bronze color. I have eyelets, but they're um, they're gold, and and I have ones that are colored. And that's before I used to do this journal where everything is kind of um, rustic looking. I need to make some cards for the shop too. Okay, so. Um, now we need to put a tie up here. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sharper scissors. I'm just gonna cut a couple of these. Go through this one. This one, hold on, let me get something. Found this the other day in my little stash. And I kind of thought it might, I'm just going to cut it right here because I don't really care. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to. I think I was going to make a scarf or something for my daughter. <laughs> Never did. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one in here like that. It's kind of a thick yarn. Okay, and that's going to stand out. So that will stand outside the edge of the book. And I may cut those shorter. Okay, so that's that. We got that pocket done. And we got these tags. And then um, I'm going to see if I can find something with a little bit more contrast. And that has some contrast there. I guess it could be a smaller. Nope, that covers up the owl. All right. I'll leave that seed thing there for now. And that kind of goes with the blue and the little owl. I could always cut this down too. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's the Statue of Liberty in that. Okay. Um, so let me do the envelope fold one more time. I'm going to use the um, this paper. Let's try it with this paper and see what happens. I'm not even sure how to get... Like if I want this to be on the front... I'm not sure. Oh, that's a double page. It's a little too thick.
This is the Biltmore House. This is not far from me. I think it's in North Carolina. I've always wanted to go there. Just never have. All right, so fold it in half. Fold it in quarters. Okay, so if I fold this down, I think so that would be on the outside. Let's fold this way because I didn't do it this way. I did it the other way. So do that. And you can glue these down if you feel it necessary to do. And this one over here has a smaller corner. Then I think it's this one here that comes up this way. Kind of a medium height. Okay, and then we're going to cut. I think we're going to cut here. All right, so this goes. Okay, so how hard can this be? Very hard. Okay. <laughs> Let's or maybe I cut it in the wrong spot. All right, so this nope. That one goes that way. Hmm. I must have cut it the wrong way. I must have cut it. All right. Well, I know that it, if I cut it. Way. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. This goes this way. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to give up and cut this part of the video out. Okay, there we go. All right, I don't know how I did it, um, but <laughs> I did it. And the house is perfectly back there, which is not any good to anyone because it... All right. But it's, you know... It's a pocket. I'm just going to keep it because I may use it somewhere. Okay. Let me sew it real quick. <clears throat> then I'll be done. Okay, so um, I guess we'll call it a day to day on this, um, but let's see, that doesn't look so bad on there.
especially if I put something here to cover this Biltmore part. Hmm. Green in there. Save the map. So it doesn't have to be um, that kind of. He's not an eye doctor, but that kind of doctor related. So it can be, you know, different things that are stuck in there. Fun things that they can write on. And I will back these with suitable paper and then see what I can put up here on top on the front. I don't want to do the same thing I did before. Hmm. I like it says Biltmore Estate right there. All right, well, I'll work on that, see if I can find a little something cute to put. Even just a little label would be cute. I have to get my labels uh, book out. Hardware store. Cut Relay and Sporting Goods. Fargo, Dakota. Huh. Boston 99 cent store in New York. That had to be years ago. And they thought 99 cent store was something new. Not, not really. Okay, so I don't know. Something like that would be cute. I'll just have to <clears throat> take a look and see. Okay. So you guys have a great day. Um, stay cool if you can. And I will see you in a day or two. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.